Hey guys, a big potential Slayer update just hit, which we'll get into in just a moment. But first, you have to see this crazy sequence of events. Kirby has been doing lots of PVM in Dead Man mode, and he even got the pet at Tombs of a Mascot. What is this? <laughs> we all know he's an amazing PVMer, but he gets caught off guard here in PVP. Jesus, oh my goodness. No shot! <laughs> we got kill. No shot, dude. <laughs> okay, let's go bank that. That is a max, max PK. I guess the guy didn't expect the quadruple melee. Meanwhile, Greg's teammate trusts him with one of Deadman Mode's only Zerite Van braces. Yo, Greg. Yo, brother. I got somebody oh, at four. Oh, I don't have Zerite Van braces. Thank you, you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now watch this, good Walla, watch this. Watch this. Walla, watch this. Greg, 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 don't do it. Don't do it, Greg. Greg, don't do it. So into this big Slayer update, Slayer partners are returning back to Old School RuneScape after over four years of them being discontinued. Because in June of 2020, the Old School team removed Partner Slayer due to rule breaking activity and also because nobody was really using it. Players had been abusing the system in order to get 99 Slayer on 10 hit points accounts, as well as level three accounts at very fast rates. This is since allowed and achievable ever since fun weapons started giving negative 100 to the crush attack style. JCW, for example, has been getting more than 25,000 Slayer XP per hour on his level three, as we showed in RuneScape Chronicles just a few months ago. So now it's only fitting that Jagex bring back partner Slayer now that this no longer seems to be an obstacle. And the old school team is proposing changes that make Partner Slayer both engaging and worth your while. One interesting feature of Partner Slayer is the ability to have two separate block lists, one per person. Depending on who gets the Slayer task, that player's block list will be taken into account. This means that you and your partner in theory could have one block list set up for Slayer XP and one block list set up for bosses in mind. Also, Partner Slayer will now award kill credit if you or your partner are within a 30 tile radius of each other while slaying together. Jagex put it well, keep your friends close, but your Slayer partners closer. And whenever you and your partner finish the task, points will be distributed based on your contribution to the task. For example, if you killed 60 gargoyles and your partner killed 40, Duradel's 15 points would shake out to nine for you and six for your partner. This split only applies to the standard point reward and does not applied to task streak bonuses, meaning players will get the full amount of points on their own Slayer milestones. This would make doing Partner Slayer faster for getting points compared to regular Slayer, as you can reach the big point milestones faster. It's worth noting that Iron Men will not be able to participate in Partner Slayer since they stand alone. However, group Iron Men will be able to partner up with their group members to slay together. There is no set release date right now. However, the old school team is planning to release Partner Slayer before the new Slayer boss, Araxor, is released. So what do you think? Are these changes going to motivate you to partner up for your Slayer tasks? And will this shake up the meta for how quickly people can rack up Slayer points? Let us know in the comments below. Special announcement, we're giving 500 mil to one lucky winner this episode, so stay tuned to the end of the video to find out how to get it. And hit the subscribe bell to get notified when we upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. No Monkey on X has announced that he's gone engaged to Hedron Archmage. I expect an invitation to your wedding at Varrock Church. Congrats. Next, Roydy commentates on the life of an average old school RuneScape player. He wakes at the crack of 2.25 p.m. He sits at his computer and there he remains. An enhanced getting kind of tune right here. Let's make room for it. There we go. Called it, by the way. You got it. Let's go, dude. There you go. <laughs> Sink is not going to let some PKers get in the way of his XP gains. Gosh. Yes! I'm free as well, Avada! Oh my god! Oh, that was like five minutes after Avada. Let's go. We're so in sync, mate. This is the last item he needed from the tormented demons. Let's see him put the claws to the test. <laughs> Yo!
Yo, that was sick, actually. What was that? 15, 15, 31. And then the burn damage after that? Wait, how much damage is that? That's like 75 plus damage. Exact is back at the Inferno on his No Protection Prayer Pure. If you remember our video from two weeks ago, he was at Zuck, but was unsuccessful. Well, it seems like the Bolt procs are back in his favor. Um... Hello? Wait, are you serious, dude? I, 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 no, 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 what? What? He hit Zuck below 240 hit points at an optimal time to ensure the least amount of healing. He then pulls out his volatile staff and starts blood barraging the healers back for hit points. Wow. Dude, there was nothing I could do there. I messed up on the healer lure, man. Oh god. Zuck only had 408 hit points left. If he got past the healers, he would have had a good chance of getting it. Unlucky. I don't know how long how long does it last? I'm running, I'm running. You ah! can't go into a bang. Yes, I can. No, when you open up the bank, No, I did it! Away. Yeah, I just did it! I got agility, po agility potion. No, you didn't. Yeah, Banky makes him disappear. Well, I was that fast, he didn't get a chance. Normally, if you go to a bank with the Jekyll random event, he will disappear. However, it seems that since Jekyll didn't go into the bank himself, he doesn't disappear. If this theory is correct, it would be very good for Iron Man trying to redeem Torstal Leaves for stamina potions in order to build their revitalization pools early. But what do you think? If you know what happened, let us know in the comments section below. Let's check in with Donator on his dead man journey. Dude, I, I just killed Millie. I just killed Millie. I swear to God, I one shot him. Full, yeah, I full HP one shot him. Let's swear go. to God. That hammer. Hey. Alter ring. Stay on him. Stay on him. Stay on him. I killed him. I killed him again, Jay. I killed him again. Hi. My little buddy. You're crazy, bro. He didn't have an alter ring this time. Kind of sad. He must be down. Bro, Slim Biscuit. Slim Biscuit died with him. Bro, that. No way Slim Biscuit just survived that. Dude, I killed Slim Biscuit. Dude, I feel so bad. What were you doing? Dude, why was there a bunch of flowers? He was just planting flowers, bro. Bro, that bro, he was just planting flowers. Dude, he Nah. Nah, Ilya. Bro. Like, I knew it. I knew better. Like, why are you like this, bro? Not, like, I, I don't even feel like regearing. I'm walking away from my computer. Baited into multi by some familiar names in the community. Very clever. What a venge! Oh my god! Oh my gosh, another dragon impling. I'm gonna drop my clue for this one since I'm not in the f crazy jungle. He's gonna give me an elite. I just know it. No, 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 no. How could this have happened? And shout out to Crow Shark for a 500 mil donation for a giveaway. My man. Man. We'll be giving it away to one lucky commenter who tells us their favorite thing to do in old school with the hashtag, hashtag subscriber. And it seems our time has run out today, but don't worry, we'll be back on Monday with the latest and greatest of everything RuneScape. And don't forget, the Dead Man finale on the official old school RuneScape Twitch channel is tomorrow at 1pm EST or 6pm BST. See you there.